Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. I am Amlan Das. Today I will discuss about Evolve's construction and Bragg's law in terms of reciprocal lattice. Okay. We consider a reciprocal lattice space. Okay. We consider a reciprocal lattice space and in this lattice space we consider some reciprocal lattice points. Okay. We consider a reciprocal lattice space and in this lattice space we take some reciprocal lattice points. Suppose this is a reciprocal lattice point, this is a reciprocal lattice point and so on. So these are the reciprocal lattice points. Now in this lattice space we consider an arbitrary point. Okay. In this lattice space we take an arbitrary point suppose we take this point and suppose this is O now from the point O we draw a vector from the point O we draw a vector whose length is equals to 2 pi by lambda okay and suppose this point is A so this is O A vector so from the point O we in this lattice space we consider an arbitrary point O and from the point O we draw a vector whose length is equals to 2 pi by lambda and suppose this vector is K vector ok. So from the point O we draw a vector way is equals to k vector suppose from the point o x ray beams are coming okay so in this figure actually what happens x rays originate from o and it strikes a reciprocal lattice point at a okay and this vector is denoted as k vector whose length is equals to 2 pi by lambda okay now with o as a center and 2 pi by lambda as a radius we draw a sphere okay so with O as a center and 2 pi by lambda as a radius, we draw a sphere. Actually in 3D it is a sphere, but in 2D it is a circle. Now we, we draw we draw here in 2D. So it is a circle. Okay. Suppose this circle intersects a reciprocal lattice point B. Okay. Suppose this circle intersects a reciprocal lattice point B. So uh, with O as a center and 2 pi by lambda as a radius we draw a sphere. Okay. And in 2D it is a circle. Now this circle suppose this circle intersects a reciprocal lattice point at B. Now suppose the Miller indices of the point B is H prime K prime L prime okay we consider the Miller indices of the point B is H prime K prime and L prime where H prime equals to N into H K prime is equals to N into K and L prime is equals to N into L where N is the highest integral common factor okay n is the highest integral common factor. Now we join OB. We join OB. Suppose this vector is k dash vector. Okay. So OB vector is suppose k dash vector. So here OA vector is equals to k vector represents the incident wave vector and OB vector equals to k dash vector represents 
the diffracted wave vector okay this is the incident wave vector and this is the diffracted wave vector and we join a b okay and suppose and this is reciprocal lattice vector okay so here a b is reciprocal lattice vector and it is denoted by g vector okay capital g vector so wave vector is the incident wave vector ob vector is the diffracted wave vector and ab vector is the reciprocal lattice vector okay and this is the reflecting plane suppose this point is n okay so this is the reflecting plane and it is perpendicular to ab okay suppose this angle is theta so this angle is theta okay now this circle or in 3d this sphere where touches a reciprocal lattice point there bragg's diffraction condition will be satisfied okay this circle where touches a reciprocal lattice point their bragg's diffraction condition will be satisfied now the reciprocal lattice vector we know that the reciprocal lattice vector ab is equals to modulus of g vector okay and we know that this is equals to 2 pi n by d where d is the interplanar spacing and n is the highest integral factor common to the number h prime k prime l prime okay so this is the reciprocal lattice vector now this is k vector this is k dash vector and this is g vector okay so we can write in this figure we can write k vector k dash vector is equals to k vector plus g vector okay k dash vector is equals to k vector plus g vector now here k is the radius of this circle and k dash also radius of this circle so we may write k dash vector modulus is equals to k vector modulus okay now if we put the value of k dash from this relation then we get k vector plus g vector modulus is equals to k vector or we can write k vector plus g vector whole square is equals to k vector square okay or we may write k vector square plus 2 k vector dot g vector plus g vector dot g vector is equals to k vector square okay k vector square k vector square will be cancelled and we get 2 k vector dot g vector plus g vector dot g vector is equals to 0 or if we simplify this then we get this is equals to k vector plus g by 2 dot g vector is equals to 0 okay thus we get k vector plus g vector by 2 dot g vector equals to 0 and this is Bragg's law in vector form in terms of reciprocal lattice okay so this is Bragg's law Bragg's law in vector form vector form so this is bragg's law in vector form in terms of reciprocal lattice okay and it gives bragg's diffraction condition in terms of reciprocal lattice vector g okay it gives bragg's diffraction condition in terms of reciprocal lattice vector g okay so this is evolves construction so evolves construction is a geometrical construction to obtain a relation between incident incident wave vector k and diffracted wave vector k dash 
in terms of reciprocal lattice okay so evolves construction is a geometrical construction to obtain a relation between k vector that is incident wave vector and k dashed vector that is diffracted wave vector in terms of reciprocal lattice vector g okay and this is bragg's law in vector form in terms of reciprocal lattice so the concept of reciprocal lattice and evolves construction helps in the determination of crystal structure with the help of vector form of bragg's law okay now we derive bragg's law in scalar form in from the evolves construction okay now from the evolves construction we derive bragg's law in scalar form okay so now we derive bragg's law in scalar form now from this figure you can see that on vector is equals to oa vector plus an vector okay this vector on vector is equals to oa vector plus a n vector or this is k vector so this is k vector plus a n is g by 2 okay so o n vector is equals to k vector plus g by 2 now here a n equals to n b in this figure we can see that this is perpendicular to ab so here a n equals to n b so from this figure we can write ab is equals to 2 into an okay ab is equals to 2 into an now from the triangle oan from the triangle oan we can write this this angle is theta okay and this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse so from this triangle oan we can write sin theta is equals to perpendicular is an by hypotenuse is ao or oa okay so an is equals to oa sin theta okay now oa magnitude of oa is k so this is k sin theta now uh we know that k equals to 2 pi by lambda so this is equals to 2 pi by lambda into sin theta so we get an is equals to 2 pi by lambda into sin theta if we put the value of an in this equation then get we get ab is equals to 2 into an is 2 pi by lambda into sin theta suppose this is equation 1 okay we get ab is equals to 2 into 2 pi by lambda into sin theta now we know that ab is the reciprocal lattice vector okay and we know that ab is equals to modulus of g vector and this is equals to 2 pi n by d okay suppose this is equation 2 now comparing equation 1 and 2 we get Uh, 2 pi n by d is equals to 2 into 2 pi by lambda into sin theta. Okay, 2 pi 2 pi will be cancelled, and at last we get 2 d sin theta equals to n lambda. Okay, 2 d sin theta equals to n lambda, and this is Bragg's law in scalar form. Okay, this is Bragg's law. in scalar form scalar form so this is bragg's law in scalar form thus from the evolves construction we derive bragg's law in scalar form 
so thus we discuss evolves construction and bragg's law in vector form in terms of reciprocal lattice and at last from the evolves construction we derive bragg's law in scalar form okay thank you for watching this video